today we're going to determine which is better, aim point or the plumb bob. So what is aim point exactly? You see a lot of the pros, you know, standing around the hole, doing all this stuff. What they're trying to do is determine the slope of the green. Which way do they feel that it breaks? And then they're holding up fingers. And what is that all about? What are, what are the fingers that they're doing? Okay, we're gonna dive into that so you can understand should you be doing this or not. Sometimes you might even see them drop a ruler on the green, you know, for practice so that they can start gauging and honing in their, really they're trying to determine the slope of the green and they'll rate it from a degree to five degrees. So it'd be one degree, two, three, four, and five. That's what the fingers are for. So the more you do this, the more practice you have of gauging how much slope there is on the green. My level here is like this. So if it's level, no break, the bubble would be in the middle. And if it's over here, that means it's sloping from left to right. And you're gonna assign that a number and that's gonna be a finger, one degree, two degree, three, and so on and so forth. Okay, so here I got a three, six, nine, ten 10 foot putt. Now with your aim point, this is gonna take some practice. You obviously gotta spend time doing this. So here I, I feel the slope going from left to right. So the, my left leg is higher. That's what they're feeling is, oh, I'm you know, feeling the weight go this far or down to the right. So therefore the slope is breaking to from left to right. Now I put my level down behind the hole just for practice and I see the left side is obviously higher. So now I have to give it a slope rating here between one and five. So I'm gonna call this one let's say a two. So wherever the ball is, I get kind of behind the ball, directly in line with the hole of the ball. And I'm gonna use you know, my, my right hand here and I'm gonna hold up two fingers because I picked two degrees of slope. I'm just gonna shut one eye so I can aim. So I'm using my dominant eye, my right eye, and I put my fingers on the left side of the hole because it breaks left to right. And then wherever the right or the left side of my two fingers are, that's where I'm gonna start. Well, that's a lot. So that is having me aim it with my fingers way out there. So it's like a foot of break. So if I were to pick that's two degrees of slope based on everything, I would aim from here at that T. That's my starting line. Line up at that T and I'm like, oh wow, that's nearly a foot of break. Did I read it correctly? Well, maybe. I certainly hit it way too hard. So then you got to work on your speed. It felt like a lot of break to me. Use an aim point, but again, if I start it there and just get the speed correct. Whew, that was a pretty good putt. I'm aiming at my aim. This is aim point. Okay, so what it looks like is I'm playing too much break. So I'm gonna recalibrate and call this, okay, it's not two fingers, it's not two degrees. And this is why you would do it now, it would be one. So I get the one finger up and I move it in a little bit, okay. Now the problem here is this, from my 10 foot putt, this is two degrees for me and this is one degree using aim point from a 10 foot putt. That's a good, you know, six inch difference. Okay. I guess, I guess it all depends on your speed. All right, some of the challenges you're gonna face with the aim point method is one, you're gonna have to stand like all over the green like this, right? And so if people are putting, gonna putt this way, you might be kind of annoying, to be honest with you, right? If you're doing this around the hole. Another challenge is that you're gonna have to remember 
all the different slopes. Okay, this is a one, this is a two, this is a three. So you're gonna have to practice a ton to get the feeling right before you really implement it or have any success with it. Also, you're gonna have to know the difference between one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, all of that is gonna have to be internalized for your feeling. And you're gonna have to know the length of stroke you need for every foot of putt that you have. That's very important too. Aim point can get very in depth with all the numbers and analytics and details of every little nook and cranny, including green speed. So that's gonna be a factor. If you're putting on 11 green speeds one day, and then the next day it's 10, well, that's gonna be a huge factor in determining length of stroke and break. So what today is a one and a half on faster greens might be a two and a half. So you're gonna have to know that, feel it, and hopefully it's consistent green to green to green, but that's gonna apply to pretty much every method there is. That's the basics of your aim point method. Now what about plumb bob? So here's the basics of plumb bob. I like to know kind of an idea, does it break left to right or right to left? Here, you know, I can kind of gauge it goes left to right. I'm like, okay, it breaks this way, this way. So I'm gonna hold the putter in my right hand. I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna shut my left eye, okay? So whichever hand I'm holding the putter in, I want that eye open. So right hand, right eye's open. Then I'm gonna cover the left half of the ball with the putter shaft and hold it straight up and down. Now I'll rotate it a little bit because the putter might not be truly plumb, but regardless, you're gonna get really close. So I'm covering the left half of the ball and I'm just following the inside part of the putter up and wherever that sets up, that's where I'm gonna aim. So covering it up, the putter inside of the shaft was aiming me right around there. And now I'm not necessarily thinking about length of stroke. That's all gonna be just from previous practice. Speed of green, should have a good feel for that. This is more of a feel method than anything. perfect. Ooh. One of the major questions is this, will aim point and plumb bob give me the exact same break? All right, well, this is where plumb bob got me. Where would aim point get me on the exact same putt? So I would feel this out like so. And I would say, okay, this is less slope than the previous one. It just feels like a little left to right. So I'm gonna go one. One degree equals hold up one finger. Right behind my ball. And aim it, okay, and from there, aim point is giving me way outside there. It's almost double. And while we know, based on what we just saw that that would be incorrect. So starting it right at that T. I mean, that was perfect speed. It should have taken more break than less because it just barely died. So that's way too much. So aim point right here, I would have to work on it. It would be less than one degree for me. Okay, we know this was one and a half, right? Now plumb bob holding the right hand, shut the left eye. It's given me this here. It gives me considerably less. Well, the plumb bomb was much more accurate there. Here are some of the challenges with not only aim point, but plumb bob as well. This is gonna go this way, but there's parts of this putt that might pull the ball to the left. In other words, there's terrain that the ball is gonna travel over that's gonna uh, affect it. So double breakers are gonna be a huge problem with both methods. 
aim point and plumb bob are giving you the general idea of slope of green. You can go back to front, you can go side to side, and it's gonna give you the majority of what the ball is gonna do on the putting green. Although we know this goes left to right, we're leaving out these little minute details within the putt. And that could affect you on some of these super swingers uh, where you have tiers and stuff to go over. Here we don't, but that's gonna be one of the drawbacks for both methods. One of the pros of aim point is gonna be this. <laughs> it's gonna require you to do a ton of practice. One of the downsides of aim point is this. Everybody's fingers are different thicknesses. So what's a three for me might be a two for somebody. I can barely even do that one. So what's a three for me might be a, a two for somebody else. So you just, you know, never know, but it's gonna be personal to you. So your degree isn't necessarily gonna match somebody else's degree. One of the pros of the plumb bob is that you kind of just do it once. All right, cool. It's quick, got it. I'm aiming kind of at the top of the shadow right there. Beautiful. It's gonna get you really close. And for the average golfer, it's a much faster, more efficient way to putt that's not gonna trample all over the place. The downside of Plum Bob is you might not have a putter that's, let's say, plumb straight, like it doesn't hang perfectly straight. It might kick off to the side a little bit. So you might have to pull it back so it's hanging vertical. Also, the taper in the shaft, it tapers down. So you're gonna have, you're gonna lose break as you go up toward the grip, because this gets thicker. So you're gonna have to kind of guesstimate where that would be. Now it's fractional, and so it's not that big a deal, but it does make a little bit of difference. Could be the difference between you winning 20 bucks or losing 40. So final test here, we're gonna go aim point, plumb bob, aim point plumb bob. We're gonna switch back, feel it out, see how it goes. That's exactly where it got me. It's close. That's pretty good, I just hit it too hard, okay. Now we'll go aim point here. I hit it pretty good. And maybe the right speed, that could have that gone in. All right, this is just all plumb bob now, last one. Uh-oh. Oh. What do you like better? Do you like the plumb bob method or aim point method? For me, honestly, I feel more comfortable using plumb bob versus aim point. I just can't feel the slope like you would want to. I'm more of a visual guy, so I like to see it. So if you like to see things, Plumb Bob might be the way for you, but if you're a feeler, then aim point might be something you wanna check out. Hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching, love you guys. Good luck out there. See you next time.